picture. And we're gonna have some inspire abilities, but I gotta get get these guys out the door. I gotta start putting a lot out there. Uh, I'm gonna go with taunt. I think that's a better better play. If I can slow him down and I can get my guys out, um, I think it'll do okay. And then it seems like this deck is based on the ability of taunt, so I'm gonna leverage that. Mm, that sucks. Still doesn't fully help him. He's going to be up to a... him so that I can put my taunt guy out and that should give me the flexibility next turn to summon a Kodo Rider and use my ability perfect even better this one. Booyah. this though. Good 
done. All right, Warrior Challenge finished. Again, not hard. A little disappointed. A little disappointed. All right, Obsidian Destroyer, at the end of your turn, summon a plus one, or um, a one one scare with Taunt. It's not bad. Uh, at least you're getting a 7-7 seven, out of it, but it's a high mana cost. It seems like most of these cards in this adventure pack have been high mana cost. I'm okay with that, but I'd like a little more of a dynamic play. Although, some of these discover abilities open that door to get those lower mana costs. So I guess it does balance out in the long run. I have to dive in and uh, play with these new cards and see where they would fit and what custom decks I can put them in. I do need to get off my uh, Paladin kick. I've been playing the Paladin non-stop, my favorite character. Um, probably not a good starting card, although it's, I want to play him. This is where it swaps between plus two, two to minions and plus two to the spells alternating turns. So this is going to get rough. But in this case it worked out. need to get more minions out the door, it's going to be hard for me to cast anything with him messing with the mana cost. So I think this one makes more sense, summoning a, a one cost minion, at least it's something. That would have been great if I had more creatures out, but I don't want to miss this opportunity. So next turn, I will be able to play. A five four, which is a pretty good, pretty good deal right now. Him not having any creatures, we're only on turn four, and if I use my Inspire ability, I get a plus two attack, so that hopefully will help me rip this guy apart. Why would he play this card? I don't understand this card and when anybody would play it. Hmm. I don't understand. three damage. I'm going to take one for the team. Going to make some little guys out. See how we do with that. I'm not a super fan of taking that damage, but didn't want that uh, seven damage coming back at me at his choosing. hesitant to put this out. I don't know what kind of cards he has, but why not? he's going to be able to do, especially with my Starfall. I can do 7 damage out right. And win it. Oh, it's to a minion for uh, 
that's not fun. I can only do that to a minion. Or to all enemy minions. Actually, let me, let me take that back. That's not what I wanted to happen. I'm in a good position. I have flexibility here. Maybe next turn. It's got a secret. That could throw me off. Hmm. Man, that's a tough call. Three mana. So if I put, let's just try it. Why waste time? Was not sure what that secret was gonna do. All right, I locked my mounted raptor. All right, I have time for one more, so I'm gonna do the hunter. The Hunter used to be my favorite class, um, usually skilled with outright killing. Uh, the challenge with him is you can get a little overzealous with the spells, taking out minions and one-stop shops, um, one-card kills, but you end up without any cards. I uh, wonder how they constructed this deck to see if it is different than their normal course. They have beasts somewhere around. Let's click this one is going to be focused around beasts and seems pretty typical what is this zero mana cost for him. Which is good. The more of these guys I get out, uh, this becomes more powerful. That would be nice. I think this is more appropriate at the moment. plus two attack this turn.
Let's see what I get. I'm curious. Oh, I get to pick. I think being able to do damage would be fantastic, especially with this in my hand. on the field when I'm out of mana and I can't deal with it if it turns out he has the upper hand. Interesting. Very interesting. Here's the play. I should have attacked him. I don't know why I didn't. Momentary lapse in judgment. He's going to do his thing. He's going to kill this guy. I'm going to get the beast. I make his health one. I shoot him. That's how this ends. Or maybe I'll shoot this guy. somebody who can stand up to this this guy and is one damage every turn I can't play these uh, unleash the hounds with him out unless I plan on sacrificing him that same turn I might as well play this card even though I don't get the full advantage
to attack. That means he would be strong enough to kill him. Just because I can. Boom. Done. Man, this is unusually simple. Dart trap, secret when opposing hero power is used, deal 5 damage to a random enemy. That's amazing. I like that one. That's a good card. I shall be using that. Yeah, these are surprisingly simple. Uh, I'm a little disappointed with that. It, there's, there doesn't seem to be too much of a challenge. I don't know if it's the AI, or if it's the card layout, but um, you know, for $25 I really want a little more out of this. I don't want to just do simple playthroughs to unlock cards. I was hoping for a, for a challenge and have to work. And I remember the first, uh, the Black Rock Mountain was the first one I unlocked. And it took me quite a few tries to get through a lot of those boards. And um, you would have to rework the decks and try to find out, you know, what is the what is the weakness of who I'm playing. And, and there was a lot more fun to it. This one seems to be going um, a little too easy. Uh, a little disappointed in that. But I know I keep harping on that. When you spend 25 bucks, you kind of want a little more out of it. Uh, all in all, though, it's fun. I'll throw it on heroic mode at some point and test that out and see if that's any better. But um, for now, uh, that is uh, three more class challenges unlocked. Maybe next time I can just go, go ahead and finish out the four. Um, and we'll see where that goes. So I appreciate you watching, everybody. Please follow me, Barcruz Studios, on Twitch. Click the heart button so you know when we go live. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe to Bar Crew Studios on YouTube. Uh, I'm Obi Jeff. 